Hey, what's up, Cranberry? And you think you over and I'm not because of that stuff last week? You ain't said nothing, nephew. Yo, if I remember correctly, I had you all blowed up and I was up in your grill. Yo, why don't you rock a bread city? Your stuff is crackling. You know what? Why don't you rock this? You want some of this? Oh, 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 oh yeah. look at that. It was a trap! It was a team kid in a trap! Look at that! Look at that! Mr. Pentad talking trash! His Conan is assaulted here! By the newest member of Team Canada! He's one of us! Hey man, no problem, you take it! We got business taken care of here! Cat, I've just been informed by WCW executives that you have been booked to face Reno tonight. However, based on what happened earlier on, Commissioner Sanders is talking some smack in the back, telling the thrillers that he beat the hell out of you. Wait a minute. First of all, old man, don't come out here trying to use words like smack, you know, like you're cool and everything. You need to start watching that WB channel because it's going to get your old ass in trouble, okay? And first, now I'm, I'm, now I'm going to go on and continue my conversation right here because I'm going to tell you and I'm going to tell everybody else out there. Igor cannot beat me. And Mike Sanders, when I get through with Igor, I'm coming for your ass too because I might want to be the commissioner again. How do you like that, huh? I like that a lot. Well, you should, old man. And you know, you need to watch some other stuff. Watch what the old people watch. You've got to be kidding me. What Lassie. do the old people watch? Lassie. Lassie. Yeah. Okay, very on, good. Go, Thank you. <laughs> to think what I could do to her. But wait a minute. It's going to be the cat and Reno right here tonight. Guys, what's going on? Sid did this? He took both you guys out? He's supposed to be watching my back tonight. Damn. i got to come up with another plan. What's wrong with you boys? Wow, the, the Harris brothers laid out in the backstage area, and Jeff Judd has to be concerned. His backup for his match coming up with Sid Vicious uh, is not in any shape right now to help him out. Looks like Sid Vicious has struck on thunder. Jarrett's on his own. Here come the business by today. And let's take you back two weeks ago on this program. Shane Douglas used the chain to knock out General Erection and score the win in a six-man tag. And then after the match, Douglas again used the chain to open up the head of General Erection. This is not over, Stevie Ray, between the franchise and the leader of MIA, General Erection. Tony, how could it possibly be over? This guy wants the bitch, and he also has to put up that U.S. belt. Can you dig it? I can dig it. Here come the NBT, the Natural Born Thrillers, who, as we have heard in this program, already doing a little maneuvering, a little conniving, and a little, uh, little sabotage. So, Tony, what two guys are going to work this match? Can you tell me? This match right now? Yeah. Well, I think it's going to be a six-man right now, but you're talking about, obviously, the two men who are going to go up at the World Tag Team Championship at WCW. That's it. Yeah, now, now, this is going to be a four-man tag team okay. match, but you just never know who you're going to get with the Natural Born Thrillers. Mike Sanders has made that now, very clear as of late. You people can thank me for fixing Nash and Page's travel plans so they are unable to make it tonight. Hell, not many bosses are going to give you time off like that. So, that was very big now, of him. Yeah, how, at this point, well, uh, general reaction. General reaction to this. Easy, cowboy. You know the rules. You can't be down here with the crew at ringside. Hell, I know you don't have your manager's card. So what I'm going to have to ask you to do is please step out, ref. Now, MIAs. What you guys are looking at is what the insiders are going to be looking at at sin. And here's the deal. With the thrillers, you don't know who it is, and you never know when it's coming. What an advantage for the natural-born thrillers. As a matter of fact, we've got four on two here. Now, who is it now? It looks like it's old Tony Colombo. Tony, can he do this? They've got to name a team. Jinsrak and Stajak drop to the apron. General Rickson looks on the other side, and we've got a different combination of thrillers. Sean O'Hare, Chuck Palumbo. Well, Palumbo and Stajak, normally the perfect event. Normally. Jinsrak and O'Hare, of course, have seen tag team glory, but it's very confusing. It's very disconcerting. And you are to this advantage when you don't know which two thrillers you're going to you get. prepare? Tony, I've been a tag team competitor for most of my wrestling career. 
How can he get away with this? How can you prepare for something like this? You can't. That is a big disadvantage. Tony, I'm talking to you. That's his whole plan. That's his whole plan. Tony, how can Rick Flair let him get away with this? You're up. This needs to be addressed. Part of the power of being Look commissioner. This. Well, the fact is, the double suplex, Ric Flair cannot change any decision, any statement, any match that Mike Sanders has made. He can only maybe add to it or change some stipulations. Distracting the referee. Meanwhile, Sean O'Hare just laying it in. Great continuity, very cohesive team for Sean O'Hare and Chuck Palumbo. You know, we him. normally don't see them as a tag team. And then we see how very proud they are about the... Oh, yeah! Oh, Good that, move! Here's the cover from the Colonel. He doesn't even want to cover it. The Colonel has the corporal. Colonel? To the side of the head. He, he's, he's, getting, he's, he's getting some of that aggression. From Chavo Guerrero Jr., I think, wearing off. He's been watching what the former member of MIA has been doing. And oh, oh, come the oh, big foot. He tried to block it and it still took effect. Big, big AWOL. The big sergeant. Sergeant AWOL. Yeah, you sergeant, Tony. Get your ranks right, Stevie. <laughs> Up and down. Stevie? Yeah, what? Stevie. Here's the cover. One, two. Oh, no, that was drop on the back that of the head. Hurt. Again, Sergeant Awal goes back to the attack as the referee is back to the Misfits corner, or back to the Natural Born Thrillers corner. The fact is, the insiders are not here. We did expect to see them here, but thanks to some travel plans gone awry, they are not here. Tony, I got to say, uh, Chuck Palumbo and Sean O'Hare are working very well together. Apparently, the Thrillers have been working all four guys somewhere in their camp. So it doesn't make a difference what four, what two is in the ring. Big power oh, slam. slam. Good location, good clean combination, and you got a two guys. The fact is, though, guys, and Steve, you know this being a ten-time former tag cover again, team champion, that to be a great tag team wrestler, you first have to be a great singles competitor. I don't yes. think there's any doubt. Palumbo, Hair, Gingerack, Stajak, all four are great singles competitors. But look at Casey, take it to it, baby. And General Wilson from the inside, shouting words of encouragement to the corporal and the sergeant, and they've turned this match around. Oh, yeah, just like a coach. What is this about travel plans gone awry? The thrillers buried the travel plans of the insiders. That's why they're not here. They sabotaged them. Well, going awry is being sabotaged. Yeah, because of Mike Sanders. Yeah, we know how those travel plans can be sometimes, guys. I've been there. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Lumbo into the rope. Look at that elbow. Cajun with a back elbow pointing towards the thrillers as he tries another Ooh, cover that was on close. Chuck Palumbo and Chuck kicks out. You what? go back and uh, reevaluate the year 2000, it obviously was a year where the natural born thrillers came into their own in sports entertainment. Watch Palumbo in the middle rope on the other side of the board for a top kick and now Here we the go. feet of Here we go. Fiction and uh, Mark Gindrak. Now that's teamwork. That's a quadruple teamwork is what that is. Great move by O'Hare pulling down the top rope, then out to the floor goes the corporal, and now Jindrak and stays in oh. the fucking throat. Oh. Oh. Safety rail. That time, Sergeant Awal blocked. We've got two oh, thrills yeah, in the yeah. ring and two thrills outside the ring. Who is legal here? Oh, O'Hare and Palumbo. I have no idea. No, the thrillers. The big man just hit the floor, guys. And he's hurt. Cajun is in big trouble now, guys. Sean John Bob possibly coming here. And that's what it is. That's it. All of his weight down on Cajun that time. And Sean O'Hare is going to make it easy pickings now with a 1-2-3. Oh, no. But he's not done. The Thrillers continue to pound. And now they're double teaming. The General triple teaming now. But he's fighting, guys. He's fighting he, back. He kicks Sanders. The Thrillers playing and work to perfection until this point. Where is Chavo Guerrero going? What is he doing out here? Chavo Guerrero has come up to help out his teammates. They're not his teammates anymore. Wait a minute. We've got the franchise out here, too. The franchise has come out. He's got a set team up. around his, his right set up. He came out there. He had to come out. He's dressed. He must have came out the audience. Major setup, guys. Major setup. The Natural Boy Thrillers win the match, and then carnage breaks out everywhere. And the man down, the man hurt on the ringside area, General Rich, will be back.